Tonight I will be doing a quick review of the Coleman 24-piece dinnerware set for camping. These are steel uh, utensils and uh, are stainless steel utensils, and um, it also includes four uh, steel cups, and four steel bowls, and four steel uh, plates, and uh, they are all enamel coated. So these are like your old-fashioned. Uh, say 1800 style uh, enamel coated uh, uh, kitchenware I guess um, just got this in great deal on Amazon in fact if you check the description box I will have a link uh, directly to the Amazon page where you could purchase this set current price is like 25 bucks for the whole set of course prices change that set was 50 bucks last week um, I'm always waiting for that good deal. So uh, let's open it up and take a look. And uh, the selling point of this that Coleman states is it's double fired enamel. It's supposed to make it a little harder, more resilient, last longer. Let's zoom out a bit here. Let's back the camera up. start with the utensils. Now unlike most sets that I saw, they come in this nice pouch which really keeps everything nice and organized. Now uh, these are Chinese stainless steel, so it means it's stainless just not for very long. Uh, let's take one out of the flat packaging for you. Uh, now the, uh, the actual utensil portion is for the eating portion is stainless steel. However, the handles on all of them are plastic handles, which is you know really no big deal. Uh, if you don't like them, or you can get the nice pouch. You can always replace them with the uh, uh, utensil of your choice. That's the easy part: is the utensils. Uh, it has four sp forks, four spoons, and four knives. Now, when I ordered, I had anticipated the knives to be just kind of you know your standard restaurant style butter, you know, glorified butter knife. However, it is, well, it's oh, a little sharp there. Well, it is uh, serrated. It, it's not super sharp, but it's not dull either. Um, I think the reason being is it's wrapped up in here. You don't want, you don't want to slice up your carry case. But uh, I think it'd be just fine. Cut, cut some steak. And just wraps right up. Uh, this this was a great selling point of of this kit right here. Is the yeah, was the uh, pouch. My hands just aren't cooperating tonight. There we go. So utensils in a carry pouch. Next, you open the box, you have the plates. Now, I did have these out once already, so I got rid of all the paper and paper packaging that these come in. Uh, just because it was a mess. Each, everything was individually wrapped in paper. Uh, now, uh, enamel coated dish. Let's zoom in there. Good old fashioned camp style. You can see the little white speckles. Would have preferred the blue, but the blue kits were still 50 plus dollars. And red's just fine, so I let Gino choose the color. Now, um, overall, the finish, uh, the enamel's decent. Um, I haven't washed them yet, which was a little bit of manufacturing residue, it looks like, on the plates. Uh, the eating side finish is, is pretty decent. But uh, the underside finish is a little little coarser, not as refined. You can see some blemishes here and there around the edges of the plate. Uh, looks like the enamel is extremely thin. Uh, there's a little hole there where it's missing a piece. It's in one. Blemish right here. Whoops. 
get it in the light. And it's just not going to want to focus. Hey, there we go. You can see the blemish. It actually looks like the uh, enamel bubble a little bit. But it, like I said, it's all on the underside, uh, along this coarse edge of the metal where the lip is. It is it's pretty much no enamel whatsoever. This one's pretty good. I guess I, for the price, can't beat it. A little blemish right there, not too much of a problem. It's not, even if you do have a little spot, people used to, this, this is what people used to eat on all the time back in the day, you know, 100 years ago. And if you look at any of them now, I mean, there's, there's one famous restaurant, uh, Paul Bunyan's Cook Shanty in the Wisconsin Dells. And um, all they have are the blue style plates, and you know you're talking a million tourists go through that restaurant a year. Uh, I mean they really hustle them through, and I mean there's chips, I mean, there's, there's chips in the enamel, slices, cuts through it. I mean they get worn, and they're all, I mean it's it's perfectly usable. Just want to make sure it's not to the point where it's getting in your food. Get those buggers stuck together. Uh, the bowls. Bowls are a little better. Uh, you can see where they had them resting down uh, when they were dipped for the enamel. That one's great. And on all of them, even yet, it's always around that lip. Pretty decent. Good. Now this one's rough. Has a uh, spot right there. It's actually a metal burr. Yep. It's actually a metal burr. I think I can kind of file that down. No big deal. Um, might rust a little bit there, but you know, if you wash, then you dry dishes. Ideally. And last but not least, got the cups. In fact, what, what started me looking for a set like this was all I wanted originally was a set of cups. And seeing that everywhere was pretty much three bucks to six dollars a piece. Get those stickers will come off. Uh, I mean, I'm you know, three, six, nine. 12, 12 just for four cups, or 6, 12, 24 for four cups, you know, so 12 to 24 dollars just for four cups, and I got the whole set, everything for uh, 20, uh, after tax, I think it came by like 24, 30, something around there, so let's see, same story, low enamel around the lip, overall I think the cups look the best. There's a little spot under the handle where it's missing enamel. It's smooth, no burrs. Looks good. Yeah, these, these gotta go through with a dishwasher. Smooth, no burrs. You know what? I think it's just how that handle attaches to the, the actual cup. Smooth, looks good. A little bit of chipped, chipped enamel on the bottom. All the eating surfaces on all this is looking pretty decent. There's a little burr, didn't quite get enameled on the bottom there. But uh, overall, overall it looks good. I'm just moving a little closer. I'm just zooming on the lip, just to show you what I'm talking about. Shouldn't pose any problem. There still looks like there's a fine, 
fine bit over it. There we go. So you can see what I'm talking about right there. I mean, it's not sharp or anything, but you can feel it's rougher, the, the iron or steel used, whatever they are on these. Oh, look at that. This is then the worst one. Uh, this one's got, uh, oh, there we go. Little chip, chip in the enamel there. Looks like it might have rubbed through while it was in the box. But once again, overall, for the price of this, where these these enamel sets can get at, you know, get pretty expensive, which is insane considering, you know, there's really not much to them. Piece of cheap steel, and then just dip it in enamel coating and bake the thing. But um, Overall, I, I, I really, even with that, I like the set. Uh, I mean, it's not going to hurt anything. I mean, you could drink from a steel cup any time, or a non-stainless steel cup, uh, as long as it's dry when you're done. I mean, I use, um, I love my uh, cast iron cookware, which that rusts like a son of a gun. Uh, so overall, I mean, for the price, it's a good set. Um, I would recommend it for the price. I probably maybe hold off at, at the $50 price tag, but closer to $25. Um, you can't go wrong with this set. And me and the boys will be using this on our Colorado road trip this coming June. And uh, I'm sure plenty of other road trips after that. Um, I volunteer at a historical railway, and we do little cookouts and whatnot and have some fun. Uh, for us volunteers, I'm on the board of directors, so I kind of plan some fun events like that for the volunteers that keep the place running. And uh, I think maybe I'll even talk them into buying a bunch of these sets just so we can have, have something good to use during cookouts, because paper plates do not work well in forests, although they're easy to dispose of. So, once again, uh, purchase link is in the description box. It'll take you right to the Amazon page where you may purchase one of these uh, lovely sets. Uh, and uh, please like and subscribe, and uh, have an awesome week. Smile, cheese!